welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Catherine. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about me, check out this previous video above. Now, this week's video is going to be slightly different. Rather than recording all the way through, it is going to be a montage of my five years in Liverpool. The five years that I spent in Liverpool definitely were some of the best times of my life, although it did come with some highs and lows. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and let's get on with the video. So of course, we're going to have to start with my first year of uni. Now, like anybody moving to university, it can be a very daunting time. You're moving away from home for the first time for most people. Potentially, you're moving to different cities. I know I was moving to a completely different island land coming from jersey a tiny little island i was moving to liverpool one of the biggest cities in england so very exciting very nervous my parents helped me move over and we hired a big van put all my stuff in and i moved straight into halls i pretty much settled into the swing of uni life pretty quickly um, Freshers Week definitely entailed a lot of going out and a lot of drinking, but it was really great because I got to know everybody who I was living with and then other people around the campus. So I think you definitely, even if you are feeling a little bit homesick, definitely throw yourself into it because you never know who you might meet. And that one night at Freshers, you might meet, you know, your new best friend who will get you through your three years or however long you're at uni. Going forward through this year, I definitely seem to become more clumsy, if that is possible. I broke in total three bones and also had a couple of other injuries and sicknesses along the way. So it probably was one of my hardest years because of the state of my health. Um, but it was also so great. I made some really great friends who I stayed friends with for the whole of my uni experience um, and who I'm still in contact with now. And yeah, have a little look at some of the snippets I've put together. second year we had moved out of halls and we were living in a house in Kensington so if any of you know Liverpool definitely if you're a student look into Kensington or Smithdown because that is definitely where all the students tend to move to so as you can imagine student housing it's not the nicest but you know what how much time are you actually spending in your house most of the time you're out you're at uni or you're with your friends and as long as you can make i made my room really cozy so as long as you can do that you'll be absolutely fine again my friendship groups didn't stop in first year they kept growing into second and again into third so i was making more friends i was meeting new people and in general, I think second year was probably the best year I had at uni because you didn't have the stress of third year and you didn't have the nerves of first year. So it was quite nice. It was a good year. I really enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, let's take a little look. Now we get to third year of university and this is where the stress levels start to rise. You had your dissertation, all your other final assessments. Third year, I know for most unis, carries the most of your grades. So for me, it was 70% of my grade relied on third year. So definitely the stress built, but I wouldn't say I really stopped going out. There was definitely still this feeling of community and people still wanting to get out still wanting to do things don't feel like it's going to stop when you get into third year it still carries on um it's still a great laugh 
I think you're just a little bit more selective of what events you want to go to so you can actually balance your, your work life and your student life and it was good. A third year was really lovely and then of course to end it I got my lovely graduation. I was lucky to graduate in 2018 so I did get my graduation which I am made up with of course. Um, it was a really beautiful day. It was a long day. It was a long but beautiful day. Uh, went for food at Gino de Campo's restaurant which was really lovely with all my family and then met up with friends and we all went on a big night out so yeah for me third year really cemented to me the friends that I was going to stay in contact with from uni because we all kind of pulled together to support each other through that tough year um, like I said earlier I made some great friends through my time at uni and I am still in contact with so many now Obviously a bit difficult me being back in Jersey and then being in England and after university we did all split. Some people went home straight away. I stayed in Liverpool for another two years. So that perspective of it, it was quite difficult to keep up in touch with everyone. But definitely we still drop each other a message now and then and really nice. Really nice to know when I go back to England, I've got those people that I can go back to and see and they always brighten my day. So what more can you want? <laughs> so let's get on with having a little look at some of my third year highlights. uni I was definitely in a little bit of limbo I didn't know what to do whether I wanted to go straight into work whether I wanted to go do a master's go to drama school whether I wanted to go home it was all very much in the air so what I did decide is I did go to drama school I went to Aura which they have a campus in the north and in the south so I stayed in Liverpool and I went to their campus in Wigan I did the foundation course, which then worked me up to do my master's, which I was meant to be doing this year, just been as in 2019 to 2020, um, but decided I wanted a gap year from education because I hadn't stopped since, you know, the age of four up until 22, I hadn't left education. So I decided I needed that break to do me and do a little bit of work and get some money together. Aura was super fun. It is exactly what you think drama school would be. It was a load of crazy people running around pretending to be feathers and being an Irish chicken with dementia for your final show. What else can you dream of? I loved it. I loved every second. It really reminded me why I did an acting course, why I studied drama at university and why I love acting so much. Highly recommend it. I have to say there is a massive difference between studying drama at university and studying acting at a drama school. Huge difference. And throughout my time at university, I definitely felt that I had maybe done the wrong thing and I should have just held out until I got into a drama school. But looking back at it now, I was taught so many amazing skills through university not just how to act and how to get into acting roles but I was taught how to you know do theatre and education and drama and education and do contemporary and do classical work and it was a massive scope. I'm now a storyteller which I never think I don't think I would have found if I hadn't of gone to university. Um, drama school side definitely you focus on your movement you focus on your voice you focus on your drama skills it is very much more acting related um so if you're debating about what to do and whether to go to university or drama school that's definitely something to have a look at and it's not even, I always thought it was just drama schools were more practical, which they are, but still at drama schools, you do have written assignments. So you, it's not completely all acting based. Um, so that is definitely something my recommendation would be for you to consider that if that is, is something you wanted to do is, is look into these things. 
let's see what mischief I got up to at Aura. And then we get to the final year that was cut very short because of COVID as I came home in March. My last year in Liverpool, I spent working. So from the summer of 2019 until March 2020, I worked in Liverpool and I worked in lots of different jobs. I carried on in my bar work for a bit. I then moved into sales. So I was working in the Disney store. I was working at Ren Kitchens. And then in January 2020, I got my job in a theatre company, which was unbelievable best job I've had yet because it was in the thing that I want to do you know it's the job that I had a passion for and the people I got to meet during that work was amazing going into schools going to prisons going into caring homes I'm putting together the skills that I'd learned through my drama course at university combined with the skills I had learned at drama school really I think benefited me and played in my favour and I was so grateful to have that experience and to be working in that field, which I had kind of put to the back of my mind because I thought it to be impossible. Let's have a little look at what was meant to be my year working turned out to look like. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. It is a little bit different, as I said. Please leave in the comments below what you think about it. I was a bit unsure how this was gonna work and whether it was gonna work. I'm still undecided what I think. So let me know what you guys think, whether you'd be up for seeing something similar, but with trips, or whether I should go back to kind of daily filming and doing a bit more day in the life stuff. Next week is gonna be a little bit different. I've never pre-recorded my stuff, whereas this week I've been recording all my stuff for next week. So I'm trying out a couple of different things. So yeah, I'd really like to know what you guys think, what you guys prefer, so I can tailor my stuff to you. Don't forget, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you next Friday at 5pm. Bye.